had a dream, which was not all a dream. The bright sun was extinguished, and the stars did wander darkling in the eternal space, rayless and pathless, and the icy earth swung blind and blackening in the moonless air. These are the opening lines to Lord Byron's poem, Darkness, where he predicts the end of the earth. Some say he was inspired by an Italian scientist's prediction that the sun was about to burn out and that the earth was doomed. But others say it was an analogy for his failing marriage. However, the poem was undoubtedly inspired by real events of the day, the 1815 eruption of Mount Tambora in the Dutch East Indies. It was the largest volcanic eruption in human history and its impact on the people in the immediate area was devastating. But the long-term impacts on the entire Earth were vast and surprising. Today, we'll explore the impact of the 1815 eruption of Mount Tambora. After centuries of dormancy, the approximately 14,100-foot-tall Mount Tambora on the island of Sumbawa started to rumble in 1812. On April 5, 1815, the volcano began a massive eruption that continued until a violent climax on April 10. With explosions so loud, they were heard at least 1,600 miles away in Sumatra. The explosions were heard so clearly in Java, 780 miles distant, that the British army thought that it was cannon fire and dispatched troops, thinking that a nearby army post was under attack. It was the most powerful volcanic eruption in human history. The amount of material ejected was mind-blowingly massive. Nearly 10 cubic miles of stone, some 10 billion tons worth, was ejected as ash. The mountain lost nearly 5,000 feet of elevation, with ash falling more than 800 miles away. Explosions continued into mid-July, and smoke was still being emitted in August. It ejected so much sulfur into the atmosphere that the entire planet cooled the result it was the year without summer. In Europe, China, India, and North America, 1816 was a year of endless winter. Snow fell in July, rivers froze in August, and crops failed on a gigantic scale. Maybe up to a million people died of famine or disease. According to a report by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change IPCC, the 1815 eruption of Mount Tambora provides a powerful case study of the potential impact of large-scale volcanic activity on global climate. Yet the awful year also laid the seeds of the century to come. Migration patterns, literature, art, politics, all were affected in ways so profound we're still living with the results today. In the vicinity of Geneva, Switzerland, a cluster of artistic souls had leased a charming villa to spend their summer. Alas, the season was plagued by dismal weather, forcing the poets and writers to remain cooped up indoors. Feeling the weight of their dreary existence, Lord Byron, renowned poet and one of the inhabitants, proposed a ghost story competition. The challenge was to craft the most spine-chilling tale that would commemorate their stifled summer. One of the products of this contest was Byron's poem, Darkness, while his unfinished work, A Fragment, is considered by some to be the precursor to vampire horror literature in the English language. Another member of the group, Mary Shelley, came up with an idea for her novel during this bleak time, set in a year without a summer. In 1818, her anonymous publication, Frankenstein, or, The Modern Prometheus, hit the shelves and became one of the most influential works of all time. Meanwhile, during the 19th century, the escalating cost of oats in Germany, possibly the result of the year without summer, had a profound impact on personal transportation. With the price of this vital equine feed skyrocketing, owning a horse became a luxury that only the wealthy could afford. However, this challenging situation gave rise to a burst of human ingenuity. In 1817, German inventor Karl von Dries developed the Loth machine, which became known as the Dandy Horse. This human-powered contraption provided an alternative to the expensive horse, allowing people to travel quickly and efficiently without the burden of high costs. According to a 2005 edition of New Scientist magazine, the scarcity and expense of oats served as a driving force behind Dries's invention. This precursor to the bicycle represented a major breakthrough in personal transportation, paving the way for a whole new era of human mobility. The Tambora eruption was also responsible for the creation of one of the most famous works of art in history, 
The Scream, by Norwegian artist Edvard Munch. Munch was deeply affected by the vivid sunsets that followed the eruption, which he described as, blood red and flaming. The experience inspired him to create the haunting image of a figure clutching their face in a moment of existential terror, which has become an icon of modern art. Beyond the cultural and artistic impacts, the eruption of Mount Tambora had a lasting impact on the science of geology. It was one of the first volcanic eruptions to be studied in detail, with scientists from around the world traveling to the region to observe the aftermath and gather data. Their observations and measurements paved the way for a deeper understanding of the Earth's crust and the processes that shape our planet. Today, the legacy of the 1815 eruption of Mount Tambora lives on in a variety of ways, from the impact on climate science to the enduring influence on art and culture. As we continue to grapple with the challenges of a rapidly changing world, it serves as a powerful reminder of the profound and unexpected ways that nature can shape our lives and our future. Perhaps most importantly, it reminds us of our own vulnerability and the need to work together to build a more resilient and sustainable world for generations to come.